an introduction to the CH product flight sim yoke shown here and the rudder pedals shown here as used in FS10 yay yeah. okay I'm Ben I'll be your host today um this is taxiing using the rudder pedals which is a lot more accurate than when you use the yoke for various reasons especially including the fact that the brakes are a lot easier at hand and you can use the differential brakes to help your turn and it's just a lot easier to aim So here's the turn into the taxiway, where I'll be finishing and then showing a few other benefits of flight sim, yoke, and rudder pedals. By the way, I'm in no way affiliated with a CH company. I'm just here to help and to entertain. Just turn the engines on. That switch all the way on the right by the engine controls. If you pull it all the way back, it will turn the engine off. If you do that by mistake, you can push it all the way forward before the engine is finished shutting off. And it will turn back on. That switch I just pressed activated the flaps. And you saw me pressing the red button. That was to switch views. Here, I put the flaps out more. Pushing them back in. You can see that. Okay. And this is switching the view. You already saw it a bit earlier, but here. Press the top one to cycle forward. And the bottom one to cycle back. very simple. That button next to the cycle view doesn't actually do anything unless you're in slow mode, so don't worry about that. This is the hat switch. It will change the view. Um, it's a four-way hat switch. It's very nice. Engine controls. And here is taxiing with the yoke which is a lot more imprecise but nevertheless possible and it's how you're gonna have to taxi if you don't have a rudder pedals um, so you might as well get used to it it's gonna be the way you taxi often see uh, the button Behind the left hand side of the joystick is the brakes. On the right side, the same place, you will find the knee board. Okay, taking off. Try to just keep the yoke centered and put your feet on the back of the rudder pedals to avoid accidental, accidental braking but so that if there's a need for them you will be ready to use them you want to pull back as soon as the gauges are out of the red which is stall speed and you want to pull back all the way um, and here's the wind, wind tip view That is raising the gear. Um, it doesn't do anything if you press it up. So just press it down, it'll raise the gear. Down again, it'll lower them. Making a nice, easy right hand turn. Wanna use the rudder pedals and then the yoke. Then, when it's time to get out of the turn, you will release the rudder pedals. Then move the 
go further than the center to even out. Then push it back to center. You're ready. This was all done with one hand. So the flying isn't as smooth as it could be. Sorry. I had to use a camera to film all of this so that I can film my feet and my hand. And here is approaching the airport. I did this in the approaching the airport mission for, well, to make it easier for me. Here's skipping ahead to the turn and then lining up the runway. You can see my dad's computer over there. Not doing anything. I get it, it's 10, he gets the desktop. Once again, not as smooth as it could be, seeing as I'm using one hand, but I did my best. And this isn't a demonstration of how to fly, it's a demonstration of how to use these. Obviously, since this is a tail hanger, the way I'm landing would not be the way that you would in the 737 I was flying earlier. And that, you just want to pull back so that your rate of descent is less than 100 feet per minute. This you want to level off so that your back wheel is touching the ground at the same time as your front wheel. And you turn your engine to idle so that you should try to make it so that it stalls and you just drop two or three feet onto the runway. That's how you would land a real tail dragger, so might as well try it in FS10. So as this demonstration is nearly over, I'm just going to say goodbye. This has been Ben. Um, check out the AV flyers, they're cool, and see ya. Peace. Oh, and CHO, rudder pedals, awesome. So much better than joysticks.